What's going on kids? Travis here, TravisStetzel.com. Coming to you, wanted to go over something uh, that we do in my uh, gym here. Every about four to six weeks, uh, we typically do this. Me, I do this about every six weeks, but every four weeks, we do what I like to call a deload week. And uh, I've been doing this for years myself. We've been doing this for years in the gym and it's worked great. This is something I picked up from my buddy, Zach Evanesh over at the Underground Strength Gym. And like I said, I've been using it for years now and it works like clockwork to help get the body recovered and so it comes back stronger over and over and over again. And uh, the concept is pretty basic, all right? It's a deload week and it's designed to do just that. So kind of cut back on the overall intensity, um, let the body kind of recover from heavy ass lifting and uh, you know, kind of get it out of the typical setup that you do you know, for three, four, five, six weeks, you know, with heavy lifting and, uh, you know, consistent work. And it kind of takes things outside the box, lets the uh, body get exposed to some different movements. A lot of body weight stuff, a lot of kettlebell work, um, light sandbags, different things like that. And uh, like I said, it just lets your body recover so you come back stronger over and over again. That's the whole concept of it. There's really no actual formula to a deload week. Rather, there's basic rules. So the main rule is no heavy ass loading of the spine. All right, so that means no loading uh, with back squats, front squats, um, heavy deadlifts, even Olympic lifts are out of the question just for this week, just to kind of decompress that spine and let the central nervous system recover. So you're not going to be lifting very, very heavy. All right, so that's the main key with the deload week. At the same time, it doesn't mean that we're totally taking things off. These workouts are still legit, all right? They're still high intense workouts. We're still pushing the pace. We're still attacking it, but uh, we're just following that main rule. We're not gonna be lifting very heavy. And uh, what we do in my gym is uh, we'll, do, we'll generally do a bunch of different deload weeks during the week, but during deload week, it's also beast week is what we call it in my gym. And that's when people get the opportunity to test out at some different workouts that we have, benchmark workouts. And uh, so, unless you're doing that, you're doing deload, all right? So the beast workouts, those are something uh, that we do additional um, to kind of get yourself up on the board. But back to deload weeks here, I'm gonna give you a sample uh, workout of what we did today with our deload we uh, week and uh, kind of give you a general layout of what we do. And uh, really what we're trying to do here, like I mentioned, we're not trying to go too heavy. We're trying to just get ourselves outside of that box of what we typically do and just kind of get athletic, moving around, doing a lot of different things. So the first part of this workout, and I'll post this up below the video so you can see exactly what we're doing here. But uh, what we call is speed rounds here, and we're going four rounds, all right? And it isn't essentially four rounds for time. It's one round for time as fast as you can, and then you're going to get some strategic rest there at the end. So we're starting off with you know, some sprint shuttles, all right? So these are fairly short. These are about 20 yards down, 20 yards back, and you're going down and back three times. So we're getting the cardiovascular system going, working a little bit of athleticism, uh, athleticism with agility, so stopping and going. Then you're gonna go right into a single arm kettlebell push press. So we're using the hips, driving the weight overhead, six per arm, <clears throat> then we're coming back, kettlebell, single arm snatch, all right? So another power, base movement with a kettlebell, single arm, and then we're ending things up with a lunge jump. All right, we're going 12 per leg with that, and we're gonna get the, the legs filled with some lactic acid, all right? So um, it's gonna kinda help flush the system, get some good blood flow going, get that cardiovascular system going, and uh, like I said, it's different. It's gonna put you in a different world with that, and it's still intense, all right? So you go through that, sit, let's say it takes you two minutes to get through that circuit. So you're going to rest about 90 seconds, maybe two minutes, and then you'll go back that, through that circuit, and your whole focus is to stay around that time, all right? So you don't want to slow down as you start to fatigue out. You still want to attack that circuit as best as you can, and you want to stay right around that two-minute mark, all right? So that's the first section. Second section, we're coming back, again, with some light kettlebell work. We're going higher reps here, so we're going 20 reps. Just some Russian swings, all right? Hit the backside, and then we're coming back with a little core movement, so a plank knee tuck. That's where you're gonna be in a push-up position, 
bringing the knee to the elbow, staying nice and tight. We're going 15 reps per side, three rounds. That's not for time, rather you're pushing the pace. So you're kind of on your own schedule here. You want to attack the time. You don't want to give yourself too much rest here, but you're going at a good pace between those two movements. And then we're ending up with what we like to do. We do this all the time in the gym, deload or not. We're finishing up with a little strength cardio or weighted conditioning. All right, so we're always doing some sort of like sled drag. All right, whether that be a sled drag, push, pull, whatever. We're going 100 feet with that, fairly heavy, not super heavy. And then we're coming back with some farmer walks. So farmer walks, grab a heavy set of kettlebells, heavy set of dumbbells, or if you got farmer handles, we're grabbing those, we're gonna walk 100 feet. Great way to still work strength, load up the body a little bit, but uh, you know, it's real functional. So we're gonna be working some conditioning as well. So that gets the heart rate going really well, hits the legs, hits the whole body in general, and it's something that we do all the time, strength cardio. So we finish up with that, and then of course, to end things out, we're always gonna hit some mobility and soft tissue work at the end. Gotta take care of that body. So mobility, 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 via bands, um, lots of different mobility movements, and then we like to hit soft tissue with PVC pipes and lacrosse balls, a little trigger point work, and uh, like I said, once you go through a deload week and uh, your body, uh, you give your body a little chance to recover, once it gets to the end of the week, you are literally drooling at the mouth, ready to get back in the gym and lift some heavy weights, and that's what it's all about, to let your body kind of re, uh, you know, kind of readjust itself, then you get back after it and crush things. So that is a deload week sample. And uh, if you're not using something like this in your training right now, it's time you start. So definitely uh, just kind of take this as a sample and model it and use it. Always uh, feel free to drop your thoughts and comments below. Like I said, post this up below the video. Um, go ahead and steal it and use it for yourself. But uh, bottom line is keep training 110% hand. Live and train aggressive. Travis, I'm out.